Yo, what's poppin' guys and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. <clears throat> In this video we are going to be continuing with our 3D ray casting. So yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Um, today what I would like to cover is I'd like to cover uh, how to make a button that you can click, that you can tap and hold that will show the map and your character along with like a little tiny like a little, little, little tiny character that moves with which, with which way you're facing, which, wh with which way you are facing. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak today. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So, let's get into how to do that. So, in our map sprite, um, we're going to decide what button you want to hold to show the map. You, I, you could do like S or whatever. I'm going to do M because it stands for map, right? Go to looks, go ahead and hit, uh, grab a clear graphic effects. Sorry, there's cars outside, I'm sorry about that. I can't really stop them, because you know they're cars and I'm a person, and if I tried to stop a car, I'd probably just get hit. Uh, broadcast a new message called show inside. Doesn't have to be called that, that's just what I'm calling it. And we're going to wait until, uh, grab your not, <clears throat> wait until not key as pressed. So they're just waiting until, or not key S, key M, my goodness. I'm, I got in the mindset of thinking that I was going to do an S. I'm sorry. Until not key M pressed. So uh, it's going to, we're going to tap M because normally when you just, when you use one of these, it'll click M and then it'll do it. So if you do this, it'll wait. And then when you let go of it, it'll check that you let go of it. Cool. <clears throat> so set ghost effect to 100 and broadcast a new message hide inside inside okay you can call that whatever you want i'm just gonna be calling it hide inside cool right all right let's see if we have that working so we're, we're walking around our little world and you press m look at that there it is it's there you let go of them and it goes away. But we don't have a little guy showing us where we are. So, what do we do about that? What if we want to add our little guy? Uh, well, I'll show you how to add that little guy. Uh, make a new sprite. And make it, like, I'm going to call it person. Like, person icon. Right, to show that's not how I do it. Yeah, that is how I do it. Never mind. I thought that I wasn't uppercased. And we'll just zoom in a bit. And I'll make my guy, like, just a little arrow. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. So, I'm gonna, you, yeah, well, you want to have the point facing this way. You want to have the point facing... Oh, my goodness. Why can't I think of the word? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> right. My... Whoa, that took way too long to think of. That's kind of sad. Okay. Um... There you go, it's just like a little arrow. Nothing super cool. Alright. I'll just like fill it in with red. Because I think red looks nice for like these kind of cursors. And then don't forget to center that. By hitting control A and then moving it to the middle. And save that. That's actually kind of big. We don't need it to be that big. Shrink that down a bit. That'll be good. Center it again. All right, there we go. Here's our person icon. Now start coding this guy up. When the green flag is clicked, I'm gonna hide. And then forever, uh, go to person. Where is it? There it is. Go to person. And you'll do a point in direction. Uh, go to sensing. And then do grab the backdrop of stage and just change backdrop to direction. I grabbed the wrong one, I think. Oh, right, no, wait, change this to person first. Change the, the staging to person, and then do direction of person. I think we did this in a later ep earlier episode, and I realized that, too. Um, and then broadcast show inside. It'll show. And broadcast when I receive hide inside. It... Oh, 
and I receive hide inside, it hides. That should be it. That should literally be all. So now we're walking around and hit M to show. And then there's our little guy, the little arrow guy, showing us where we are. And he, you know, goes with where we go. Just follows along with where our character is. And yeah, that's how our little map goes. Kind of cool. You get in this little gap without looking weird. Now nah, it looks a bit weird. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, we got stuck in the wall. Oh, we, well, we didn't get stuck in the wall. It just looks like we did. Okay, cool. What's next? What do I want to do now? Tell you what I want to do. We'll make it so like you can go through uh, multiple levels. So yeah, that's what I'll do now. So like, if you want to like have this be your first map, and then you move on to another map. So what I do is go into costumes and make a thing for a new map. Uh, so again, what I did is I just set the whole thing to black, and then I like to cut out the middle. This is gonna be a different map. You could have like be a maze, right? Whatever you want. This could have like a long stretch to go through here. Long stretch to come down here. And like you could do this. Oh yeah. Look at that. That looks great. Uh, eh. Over to here. And then down here. And then what would these do? These could just like come up like this. Bop. And bop. There we go. There's our second map. I'm just going to uh, name these costumes 1 and 2 because I'm weird. And I feel like I have to. So now on the green flag, click under your map. Make sure you switch costume to 1. Cool. Got it. All right, nice. Now, how do we set up the system so that we'll actually be able to uh, go to a specific location and have that teleport us? Well, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So, what I do is go into your first map and find the place where you want to have them go. Right. So, where on this map do we want to have them go that will teleport them to the next area? Where would I want it? Uh, I'd say, huh, where would be a good spot in this map? I was going to say this little area, which would work. Yeah, I'll see that. I'll see this little, little area, little tiny area. So this is where we want our character to go. Don't put anything here. You don't want anything actually on the map. I'm going to make a new sprite. And we're just going to call this level changer, right? Make this as small as you want. I'm gonna do like a little square that like probably fit that exact little area where we want it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make like a little tiny square. Hope that's enough. I'm gonna change its color just so I can keep track of where it is. All right there it is. See it right here. I'm gonna move it to where I want it. Okay, it could be a bit bigger because it can still fit in there. Actually, it could be kind. It could be kind of big, actually. Even if it's bigger than that, I can still probably fit it in there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Put that where you want it. And when the green flag is clicked, <clears throat> uh, da, 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 go to that exact location. All right, cool. Now, all we have to do is do, let's make a variable and call it level, so we keep track of what level we're on. I'm going to rename that. Level. I think that'll just show up in the corner. There we go. And then we'll also just set level to 1 when we start the game, because, you know, you casually start on level 1. Go to there. And then... Repeat until level equals two. Mm, if touching, where is it? If touching person, right, which is that little tiny dot 
which moves around this little map, if touching person uh, will change level, will broadcast level two, right? Level two. And we'll set level to two. There we go. Now what do we do from there? From there, we can do whenever uh, go into your map sprite and do when I receive level two. Switch to costume two. Go to zero zero still just to make sure we're still doing that and also still keep your ghost effect to zero. And then that can stay like that. And then person. This is another thing we need to change. Um, when I receive level two, uh, make sure you find the coordinates of where you want the spawn to be of the next level. So like if I wanted it to be over here, I'd have to find out the coordinates of this location. I could do that probably just by taking this level changer and putting it there and then seeing what its coordinates are. So like that would be 200, 130. So when I receive level two, just go to, I think it was like 200, 180, I think I said, right? Negative 200, negative 130. Negative 200, negative 130. I'm going to sneeze. Hold up. All right. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Set, uh, go to, to negative 200, negative 130. And if I'm correct, that should do that and fix it entirely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So we're showing this. We don't want to show that. Well, we want to show it. So make sure it's showing, but set, set the ghost effect to 100. And also while we're at it, why not grab this M thing? Well, actually I could just do the show inside thing that this has. I'm just going to do that. Uh, put both of these in the person icon. Grab the two show inside, show, show inside, hide, in, show inside, show, hide inside, hide, and drag them into the level changer that they're here. What the heck? Did I not do the other one? Oh, I must not have. Show. Wait, does that mean the person has it? Person can't have that. All right, cool. I'm par now I'm paranoid that one of these other things has that. Okay, whatever. All right, now let's try it. All right, there we go. Want to hit them? Okay. What am I doing? Oh, there it is. There it is. Hide. There we go. Just change that to a hide and get rid of the ghost effect thing. Uh, just in case, I'm going to set the ghost effect to zero real fast. There we go. And save that. Okay, cool. Let's see. Here we are. Yep, here we are. M shows it, and then it doesn't go away. Why doesn't it go away? Oh, because we don't have the hide inside. Oh my goodness. I copied the hide inside, and I thought I copied the show inside. Wow, I am slow. Save that. And do that. Boop, boop. Alright, let's try it. There we go. Now, it shows that one spot on the map of where we need to go. So, let's start making our way over there. Oh, yeah, right. We can sprint. I forgot we added the sprint. So, it doesn't actually show anything on the map, which is a bit sad, but, you know, whatever. You can just walk into it. And then look where we are. We got teleported to the new area. Look, we're down there in the corner now. Um, obviously, you then have this thing. So, like, let's say you wanted the next level to be, uh, I don't know. Let me just hide that. Where would we want the next level thing to be? We'll put the next level, like, up here. Yeah. And then you just have on the level change, when I receive level two, go to there. Cool. Let's try that again. Here we are. Level one. We know where to go. Oh wait, no we don't. Apparently we apparently we do not. We do not know where to go. Uh sprint, 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 sprint. Ba da ba da ba boom. Now we should be in the new area, right? There we go. Ooh, okay. You see what happened there? How it didn't change my location until I opened the map. That's the problem. We know how to fix it though. Uh, get rid of all these hides. Just set this as a show at the beginning. I was right with the ghost effect thing. Set your ghost effect to 100. 
or yeah, 100, just so it's invisible, but still showing. And then when I receive show inside, set, ghost effect to zero. And when I receive hide inside, set, ghost effect to 100. That's all. Same with the person icon. Well, yeah, the per, right? Yeah. Those, I don't think the person icon needs it. As long as the person is, is that ghost effect thing right there is uh, at 100. And that these level changes is when it starts show, ghost effect 100, show inside, ghost to zero, hide inside, ghost to 100. That should fix it. That should fix it. Let's try it. Let's try it. So where are we? All right, we're going this way. This way. Right in here. Okay. Here we are. Ready? And then there we are in the new map without having to open the map up to move. And yeah, that's how you make a uh, level level progression use this big area yeah okay we gotta go way this way we gotta go way this way till we hit this wall up here and then there there would be yep and again one more time we'll do this one more time so instead of this when you receive level two I just duplicate this entire thing put it underneath there just make sure you have a new thing and get get that get this go to out of there that's important get that first one have it set like this. Uh, when you receive level 2, set your level 2 just in case it fails somehow. When it receives level 3, person, level, then new broadcast would be, you know, level 3. And then set level 2, 3. And then you'd keep doing that system over and over and over and over and over. And then, yeah, that's how you add more and more levels to your thing. I'll go ahead, I'll add the third map so you, if you want to play it, you can go ahead and play through it. It's not going to be anything amazing. Nah, I won't add the third map. I'm too lazy. <laughs> but yeah, that is how you would do that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways because more Scratch tutorials coming in the near future. Um, actually, as you're watching this, I think it's Tuesday. I don't know. I'm on vacation. I post... I, I'm recording this early. So... Uh, yeah, it should be Tuesday for you right now when it's posted. When it's posted. It, it was posted on a Tuesday, it should be. And which means you'll get the next video uh, on a Friday. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, like it, and like it, like it anyways, because all that good stuff. If you uh, like what I do and want to see more of what I do, go ahead and leave subs uh, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.